Yes, honey, yes. Yes, it is giving fresh. It is giving new. It is giving a 10 year old starting middle school. It is giving a party of five. Mid 90s called and wants his hairstyle back. Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. We are back in my bedroom. A Q&A get ready with me. I think I've done one this year. However, I've got a big filming day. I've got to have things back to back and then I've got, uh, which you would have already seen because it's live, um, Amy, fashionably Amy and Kat, Kat L's live. So their luxury live show. I'm going on that. We gotta get ready today. There's a lot we gotta do. Yes, we cut the hair off, okay? This is gonna be really chatty. So I better get started while we talk and I'll just interrupt myself. Nothing is on the face. I am gonna moisturize. I don't have my Double Wear by Clarins. I have the samples of it because I didn't buy the actual serum. And I picked up my moisturizer. This is the Flash Beauty Flash Balm. And I wanted to get Double Wear serum at the same time. It would have been like a $300 spend, but she was she was just rude, okay? So we're gonna use these samples. You just fold them in half. Sometimes I just don't like a moisturizer because it's really thick and then you're going to go and put on, you know, a foundation or whatnot and do full glam. So it's just a lot. Alrighty, if you're anything like me, <laughs> I love watching Get Ready With Me's and like beauty gurus and everything like that. If they've got their hair out and they're putting foundation on and whatnot, <laughs> And it's like hitting their hair, it just gives me, <laughs> it gives me issues.com. Right, so serum starting off. Let's go. So that was the Clarins. That is that. Then we go into a primer. I can't stray from YSL. This is the All Hours Primer. Again, quite thick, so very similar to the Chanel. Blanc, I think that's what it's called, which is downstairs. Beautiful packaging, of course, but the YSL Touche Eclair Blow Primer is my total go-to, so we're gonna prime with that. And just have a little shin wag, shall we? Sorry if you hear my neighbor with his gardening tools, hedge trimmers, lawn mowers, blah, 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 blah. He is one handy man. He won't be long because he did it yesterday. Strain foundation, I'm gonna mix these two because ain't nobody, ain't nobody 30, that's for sure. So these are both the forever, um, these are both the Dior Forever foundations. One's the Dior Skin and one's the Just Forever. As you can see, very different. We're just going to mix them up a little bit. I was going to do my Laura Mercier in the Macadamia because it's a total go-to. And of course, Drugstore. Let's not miss Drugstore. The Matte Paula's Fit Me. This is literally, you want a drugstore go-to, don't waste your money. Maybelline, this is where it's at. It's the most beautiful finish. All right, we're going to beauty sponge it and see where we go. I'm going to start with questions from everywhere. Honestly, I put out a post on Instagram saying I was what my schedule was today. We have the luxury live show, which is questions as well if you want to, and just general banter between us. I, I put out a post about this. And I went back on my Q&A, get ready, oh no, sorry, my Q&A, just a Q&A in my studio, and went back and found questions from that. So you are going to be everywhere. <laughs> you are going to be everywhere with me. And yeah, so let's go into this. So, Miss Stacey Moore, hi babe, she commented... <laughs> A long time ago, one month ago, four weeks ago, on my Q and A video in my studio. Hey, Jerusha, your top three luxury bags bags you would suggest for someone just starting out in their collection? Great question. I get asked about starting out questions a lot, and I love that because it means that you're finding us, you're finding the luxury community, and. You know what? There's something so nice and genuine about <laughs> girls and guys out there who don't necessarily know everything, okay? They're not in the Jewish, they're not like, oh yeah, like I watch her and I watch her and I know the names and the leathers and the blah de blah de blah I'm just 
I'm at a point where I'm like, it's just so nice when people are like, you know, I've never shopped LV before. You've got a lot of monogram. Do you suggest buying monogram and not leather? Like, just cool kind of not having the knowledge. My answer to you, Stacey, would be, I'll give you three, but overall, do not just go for basic because we say go for basic. Oh my God, get yourself a speedy. We're not, get yourself a Neverfull, get yourself, you know, a Chanel classic flap. No, I definitely obviously feel like it's to do with your taste, obviously. It's to do with what you need. Maybe you need it for work. Maybe you want it for evenings out, that type of thing. I would definitely say the three handbags you should start your collection with, though, is yes, a Neverfull simply because of its diversity so you can travel have a big shopping day but also just use it for general errands and everyday use if you're a mom if you're in corporate world it's a great kind of briefcase size so when people do say a louis vuitton never full it's true however it's not just louis vuitton guillard does the um saint louis tote is it yes so i definitely would say that as one two a backpack they came back around Yes, versatile ones are good that have like a strap or whatnot, but a little backpack of some kind, I'm going to say, I'm going to run with it. I really, I think, I think they're good. I think they're, you know, it, I, I don't always feel like it's a, a divert, it has to be, you know, you use it here, you use it there. I don't think that's what necessarily makes, you know, a handbag great, but I'd say a little backpack is so cool. Whatever size, you know, Fendi size or a bigger sort of size, you know, not even a Kate Spade, not even big luxury house style, but something you can put on your back, sling over one shoulder, that kind of vibe, I feel like, and yeah. That's, I'm just going out of a comfort zone. Thirdly, a walk. Go straight for a Chanel walk. I am so sad I sold my walk. There's a lot of regrets now. I think I've come to a stage. <laughs> I think I've come to a stage in my luxury life that I just, I regret. I regret, but I wouldn't have regretted at the time that I sold my Chanel walk. Caviar, gold hardware, hello. Okay, bronzer. Try and see where my... Have I smashed that? I think I've smashed my big Marc Jacobs. I was going to do cream. Oh, I was going to do cream contour from Laura Mercier. I'm just, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I'm such a brush girl. I've grabbed her lightning, her Laura Mercier lightning. Uh, what are they called? Secret camouflage, the lightning. Uh, say it another time, Jerusha. Okay, um, crayons. And they're famous now, rose gold caviar sticks. All of their caviar line is going crazy, but it is really, really gorgeous. We'll show you that as a cute little highlight. However, these are Smashbox cream, cream sticks for contour. I'm going to try this. We could really mess this up. Look at these little kabukis from Chanel, aren't they so cute? I'm scared. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. That's all we're doing. That's it, okay? We are not going any more than that. We ain't a beauty guru. Do beauty gurus even exist anymore? I feel like you just have to be a TikTok, viral TikToker and that's it. Okay, we're gonna buff this out with powder now, but that worked, kind of. Nas Laguna bronzer, go to. <laughs> go to. One, need a new one. Two, need to get into something else because listen. Okay, next question. Otherwise, we're never, ever, ever going to get through anything. Uh, back on that same Q&A, um, gel, gels, gel, gel, Z. Hi, Jerusha, watch this while I'm working out. Hey, yes. Question, which design from your boutique were you most proud of? Oh, wow, well, that is the most gorgeous question. What? design well from my boutique we had all different you know after my collection was the main launch we had all different you know styles come in that i was doing i bought in other labels as well some other small designers in sydney i, I stocked their stuff as well but of my own most proud collection is obviously my 
Broken Hearted Ballerina, which is my my second big launch collection. I had sold out of my first collection and that is probably my most proud because back then to do full sequin blazers that I did the full sequin um, motif blazer and then the blazer with the crow feathers, the oil stain crow feathers, back then it was you know, still avant-garde. It was still very new to sort of be that sort of out there, the big Balmain shoulder, shoulders were just launching with Balmain. So, you know, Lady Gaga hadn't started and all that avant-garde, you know, beautiful wearing and really getting the brands out there and, and getting Mugler out there with all the crazy designs. Um, so I feel like yeah, it was a little bit forward thinking for the time, especially for, you know, couture, couture retail. It wasn't high couture. I just, it's just tailor made. It's made. You can't go into uh, department stores and buy it, obviously. Um, so yeah, that would be my answer. Again, from the Q&A video, Profevor89, sorry babe. Uh, hi honey. Um, what is your thoughts on the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal and would you ever get one? A hundred percent. That is iconic. Petite Mal in black, classic monogram, that is iconic to me. <sighs> would I ever get one? Yes. Can I spend the money? No. Unfortunately, <laughs> and fortunately, unfortunately, I am investing in other luxury houses that are really expensive. And, oh, sorry, oh my god, I'm not even telling you, I'm not telling you anything I'm putting on. This is a great get ready with me. So, concealer-wise, did I show you that? So, bronzer, concealer-wise, I did a mixture of tarts. My tart shape tape is starting to dry up, so I don't like that. However, I don't like the creaseless concealer. I don't like its formula very much. I find it way too dry. The shape tape's amazing. I'm going to get a new one. It's got a way bigger doe foot. If you know the creaseless concealer, it's just got this thin doe foot and yeah, it's just really thick in a way that I don't like the finish. I'm doing great at this. You can tell I'm not rusty at all. Setting powder, woo! Award winning. Yes, I am a Laura Mercier blogger and yes, I do sponsorships with them, but why would I come to you with crap? And why would I come to you anyway when they've got awards for this, truthfully? Awards, but I'm almost out of this one and I have backups downstairs. So I just let that all sort of sit for a minute and we can answer this question. So yes, oh my gosh, honey, I would want one. Let's tell you how much they are. New from the boutique in Australia, this beautiful bag retails for $9,150. Would we part with that money for this item now? No, <laughs> no, I can just tell you straight up, I wouldn't do it. I just would never use it. I don't use my soft trunk either at the moment, and that was a lot less, obviously, but yes, a petite male, would I want one? 100%, would I get one if I had endless money? Oh my God, shout out to Amber. Amber just did the tag of if there was no budget. Yes, did she? Yes. Okay, so that was from that q and I have asked on Instagram for this video. I also asked for my um, uh, luxury live that I'm about to do this afternoon with Kat and Amy. Susie! Hi, Suze. While we're here, this is a perfect question to ask me, babe. Suze is, Susan is just so gorgeous. She's followed me for ages. What is your favorite Chanel skincare product? Thanks, babe. Where? <laughs> Stop. If I only get one, Susan, this would be it. Jerusha, this is number two, uh, this is number, this is number three, this last two months. So in two months, I've gone through three. Why? Because every single morning, every second morning that I wash my face or whatever, I've dropped the boys, even when I'm dropping the boys to school, I gotta keep going to a meeting or something. You want to look alive? Period. Point blank. Period. The beige tint is it. Okay. There are many different BB creams out there on the market. Many, you know, drugstore, all of that. And that's fine. This is not only lightweight, it's fluid feeling. 
it's got the applicator pump, so it moves up like so. There you go, like one drop, one drop in there. And it's like beads. You're not going to see the any of this. It's like beads kind of thing. Not not beads, but it's it's just like it's that um, the water fresh on their on their fat. Can I speak on their moisturizer on their um, hydrator? That's what it is. It's that formula in a BB tint. I once showed it to mum and she was like, before I put it on, and then I said, how do I look now? She's like, you literally look like a different person. You look awake, you look healthy, you look... If there was anything from Chanel Beauty, this would be it. Honestly, I'm going to link it below. It is my number one go-to product in beauty, period. Beauty makeup, period. This. This, Sue. I have been doing my brows with this guy. So this is Huda's um, Microfiber Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy Microfiber Brush. I will show you it. You may or may not be a fan. There are many different drugstores that are amazing too. So this is the Maybelline Brow. I will link to both of these below. This is so cute. The tartlet, the mini tartlet palette. Oh, it's so cute. So we're going to grab the matte. Uh, the matte shade up in the top corner it's so cute oh my gosh and just cut out a little bit um yeah so i went to mum with this hair cut idea and she just straight away goes oh, i think it's such a good idea i thought about it for a while and i think you know you need to just get over this whole long black center part kind of hair look i was like oh okay sister thanks for letting me know don't hold back mum just think you look like that lady from the Adams family. I'm like, Morticia Adams. Or Wednesday. Let's make a hybrid. Both. She goes, don't do a dark colour again. And I was like, okay. Yes, 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 Captain. I am really into blush at the moment. So these would be my three options. Or maybe four. No, three. With it. No, four. No, three. Stay still, Jerusha. So the famous Melba from... MAC, literally their most famous blush colour, kind of just like a muted sort of pinky peach, I would say. And then the Camouflage Blush Blush, can I speak, in the colour 7, they only have numbers in YSL, so that's there, and that's a real kind of peaky pe pinky peach. And then Chanel Malice, this is truthfully the prettiest pink, if I can open it, pinky coral pink so we are going to use that today and i have been loving blush and yes highlighter like that but really that kind of dolly position so like there it does make you look larger than you are and in my case that's not a great thing because i am a taller thicker girl okay so that's where we're at with the blush. That's about as much as I would do. I would just go in and do the eyes. I probably would just use this little Tartlet Beauty Palette anyway because I would have probably just reached for my Tartes Pro, which is like so manky. All of my, all of my go-to palettes, look, look, they're all pan, is pretty much all tart because they are just... Other than Anastasia, if you follow me for a while, these are my go-tos and, of course, Laura Mercier. But these are just, they're staples. Look at this blush palette from Anastasia. I'll link this all below. Highlight-wise, Jacqueline's line is really beautiful. It really is. And I would probably, ooh, like to use one of her highlights. They're a little bit more blushy. Laura's. Laura, we're best friends. Nicole Guerrero's gone. Don't know where she's gone. She's not really in the makeup scene anymore. She did uh, the collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills and I got that. Tati Beauty, she's gone. <laughs> At least I think these beauty bloggers are gone because I don't follow them anymore and it's just got, it's got no zhuzh, okay? It's given no effort is what it's giving. Oh, these are times when you say, I should have bought a coffee up here. I actually might stop at the next overheat on this camera and go and make myself a coffee. Okay, so yes, the little tartlet, the little tartlet palette, we're going to stick with it because these are my total, you know, go-to tones, these really beautiful earthy tones, crease colours, that sort of thing. It's all this kind of um, 
yeah, beautiful earthy tones, very terracotta. I do it all the time. It's my safe place, so just go in the crease, warm it up, and then bring it out with a sort of more terracotta -y red. That's just always what we do. I bring it up now a lot more. If you see those sort of TikToks, follow them. Those girls know what they're doing, and they've got the time to work it out. Okay, so follow them. So yes, yeah, Sue, I cut it all off. And not because mum told me to, because I also have the heaviest thick hair. Sure, shame, Jerusha, shame. Everyone wants thick, heavy hair. But to the contrary, people with thinner, shorter hair want thick, long hair. People with thick, long hair want lighter hair. People with curly, wavy hair want straight hair, vice versa, right? It's all relevant to what, you know, the each person wants and also people out there portray that it's easier it's better it's this it's that sometimes it's just not sometimes it's not easier to have thinner hair sometimes it's not easier to or nicer to have thicker hair and that's totally up to you oh my god welcome to this seminar on understanding yourself on health journey <laughs> Anyway, it was so thick and so heavy, I couldn't even wash it, Sue. I wouldn't wash my hair for days. We would be like, uh, hello, welcome to Stench. What is that? Wash your hair. So, naturally, I wanted to cut that off. And I wanted to colour it lighter. You know, nowhere near like the balayage. My balayage just basically turned orange um i wanted it to go lighter just so it wasn't as dark or tisha adams style um and yeah i just wanted to change my color appointment is next week i couldn't get in with my stylist for that she was happy to put me on to another girl but i don't know i don't really care so i would just wait for her um so yeah, that's kind of the story. We're just going to put a few highlights through it like I did two years ago when I cut it off. Insert, <laughs> insert cutting my hair off back then. I'll just grab some of the darker tones and just do, just work in the outer crease. Okay, oh cute. Specs me mom. Hi girl. No question, but your hair looks gorgeous. Thanks babe. Thank you so much. So many people are like, Oh, yeah, you cut it off. That's so good. And my mother-in-law was like, why did you do that? Not that they love long hair, like Persians love long hair and everything, which they do. She was like, why did you do that? And I was like, so you don't like it? And she goes, no, I love it. Oh, my God, you look younger and fresh. I was like, then why were we not sure? She was like, I just never thought you'd do that. Thanks so much, babe. Okay, Kathy A. A. Hill. Hey, babe. Oh, this is bad. This is, might have to end this this video, especially with Q&As, because I, this is going to be bad. I saw this. <laughs> she wrote, how are you liking or are you watching and just like that? <clears throat> if you don't know, and just like that is the... <laughs> Second, <laughs> what would you call it? Second wave, I guess you'd call it. Second era generation of sex and the city show. Okie doke. I'm going to have to put lashes off camera. It was a choice between these, both drugstore, the Ardell Wispies Hello. <laughs> like, absolute staple in your life. We'll link to them below. But these are the Allure and they're in like the... I would say like Russian, Russian volume style because of the way it lifts. It's that sort of Russian volume on the band is what I mean. Not necessarily the clumped size, but this is their Allure London or Wispies. I'm not quite sure. We go with va va voom or simple. I'm not quite sure because we don't have lash extensions. I'm going to have to do them off camera and then I'll come back and do my lip but that's kind of it for now. So I'm going to put on some highlight with you right now. And that is Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Not only the most famous uh, highlighter, I think it is. It is so beautiful. I've been through one already. This is my second. And this is my Jaclyn Hill little brush. And it's so beautiful. But we just 
tap it on off and hit it high because we need to make the cheeks elongate because they're round but also we don't want to look like a jazz jazz performer or sorry tap going to our tap lessons so there you can just see it there just giving a bit of ding you know what guys let me get these lashes on off camera let me get a coffee let me come back on camera do my lips and have my moment to talk about and just like that sex in the city and miss sarah jessica parker kill me oh my god off the next cliff can't handle it choke me to death okay <clears throat> eyes are on we did go with the russian doll russian doll escort kind of look we got ourselves a coffee in our tiffany paper cup mug we got ourselves a piece of celery slash belgian brownie mm, so good we're well, gonna finish this off take this hair down laura mercier clips dang, and zhuzh it up a little bit i'm not really decided on the part I just want to do something a little bit like this like so nice and easy and then we'll just do a nudie kind of lip we got lips set up here everywhere I would have been rolled this set up because sister it's everywhere uh but yes we're gonna do lips and we are going to in a nutshell talk about this devastating situation I have been asked about it before I think obviously coming from the era of growing up with Sex in the City, which is very much, you know, I would probably say our era, mid thirties to mid forties, that's, that was our real era of just watching Sex in the City. If you didn't, not a problem. No, some people couldn't stand it at all. They couldn't stand her, how do you put it? Neurotic kind of behavior. Yeah, so you love it, you love it, you don't, you don't. Huda Beauty Pencils are life. I will link her below. I don't blog for her yet. Dang. I'm not a beauty blogger. And it sucks because I love these brands like crazy. So I'm trying to search for another color of hers. We got this one. It's a real pink though. Muted pink. And that's the deep. I thought I had a real nude one. Maybe I gave it to mum. And then I've got um, Subculture, obviously, by MAC, which is just, like, the go-to. I think I'm going to do that. And then I might just do my Chanel. This is the Rouge Allure, but this is in as well Beige Naturel. I thought I had it in a dark one. I want to do a liquid lip because it's, I guess, easier as sense. Otherwise, I would do the 102 in the Chanel Allure, which is amazing. Let's go in and do this lip anywho and let's talk shall we let's get my double facets mirror out hi tracy tracy just won this the other month i just sent it out to her so basically yes i have injectables i haven't had them for a long time so they're probably down anyway i naturally have really big teeth as you can see ding so we got to make lips to match kind of thing <laughs> Um, so I just sculpt, sculpt, I just trace kind of just above to give a fuller lip naturally. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's get going. I don't like that colour. I changed to an LA girl. I'll link these all below. I'm going to link everything I'm using below. If I change, I'll let you know if I remember. Yeah, that's nice. How do I feel? Oosh. Oosh is how I feel about this. Ready? Why kill a absolute dynasty and a memory of fantastic cinematic display of New York culture and vibe and passion for the city, for fashion, and for a general lifestyle of you know, a single woman and her friends in that age category, in their late 20s, 30s, you know, late 30s, 40s, I don't know what Samantha was. Either way, that really pizzazz lifestyle, that was a dynasty. Leave it alone. Why? Why? 
kill something, kill it. And it's so upsetting because it's like, do you know what I feel like? Okay, things in any genre that are just forever or it's in our face and it's just amazing and it stays that way. You're Michael Jackson's, you're Marilyn Monroe's, it's how it's remembered. This is all to do with entertainment, obviously. It's how it stays in your mind. That's my point. Why are you beating up something that was beautiful? It's not even about beating a dead horse. She has gone and killed a memory. She has slaughtered it. She has cut it into pieces. It is in the, the abattoir. It's horrible. I don't care if you think the show is good or not. You're done. You should have been done. Point blank period. You're killing a memory, you're killing a dream, you're killing an entire generation's view on this show. And you're bringing it back for what? A generation that can follow you now? There's something that's in common about it? No, no. That is my first point. And my second point is not only going to be controversial, it's not only going to be controversial and perfect timing whilst I am aligning my plump, Botox filled face and Juvederm lips, whatever you want to think. Each to their own. Totally fine. Totally fine. If you don't believe in in any of this or any preservation, that's totally fine for you. For Joe Bloggs down the street. Okay? For her down the street. For him down the street. For anyone who just isn't in this world. If you are Sarah Jessica Parker okay, Carrie Bradshaw, and you were an entire, as I just said, world in fashion and best friends with Anna Wintour and this, that, and the other. You want to age grace gracefully? Do it. Not a problem. If you're out there and you want to age gracefully, whatever. Totally beautiful. But if you don't wash your skin and you don't wash your face and put moisturizer on and you are Sarah Jessica Parker, shame on you. Because not only are you promoting to not take care of yourself, not wash your face, not clean your skin, and what's ironic is apparently she's backing a skin brand now that, and there's all been this hoo-ha because it doesn't, it doesn't have cruelty free on it. Like it's not tested on, it is tested on animals. So everyone's up in arms about it. She looks like she hasn't washed her face or her hair. You need to present yourself, and that's in any genre, okay? You can come for me, I don't care. My channel, my opinions, but in any genre. You're a lawyer. You need to be a suit, period. You don't get a choice. You need to be a head to toe Armani tailored suit because you are representing these huge cases that cost a lot of money. You need, if you're an, sorry, an anesthetician, you need to have amazing skin. You need to care for yourself because that's what you're selling to your clients. If you're a chef or a restaurateur like my husband, you need to portray that you can chef, you need to look clean, so on and so forth. You get my point. If you are a mega superstar film, TV, you know, actress, celebrity, so on and so forth. Take care of what you look like. Surgery, procedures or not, I don't care. Wash your face, okay? You look like something that got stuck in a drain. Point blank period, and I used to love her. Okay, so that's the lip on a happier note. Sorry, I told you I was gonna go in, I told you. That's how I feel, and I said it the other day at lunch as well. I was just like, no, I'm not gonna hide how I feel. It's not okay. It is not okay. Liquid lip from Chanel. Totally recommend them. Very moist, non-drying. I hate liquid lips that dry. I'm sure you all do as well. Now, I can leave it matte, which I will probably do for like this video, this next video is coming, and then I'll whack a gloss on it. Sorry to Chanel you. But this is my 722 go-to, which is just like beige heaven. It's so beautiful. However, I have been loving uh, the Kylie Cosmetics Coco. Uh, so the Chloe Kardashian version of her uh, lips because it's on a little brush, not a doe foot, and it's really, really thick and beautiful. So we will take both of those to the studio with us. That is the finished look. Let's get a screenshot. So yes, thank you so much for having a Q&A with me. Love these. Another Q&A get ready with me. Coming up, let's do it again. Why not? I've really got to get back into this routine. I have just been vlogging life and just not dedicating studio. Let's sit down together. Thank you so much for watching 
Um, if you have any other questions, I'm going to refer back to this in my next Q&A. Get ready with me, I'll refer. So please ask below anything, you know I'm an open book. I'm very opinionated, but please ask below so I'll refer back to this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Peace. <laughs>